Hello and welcome to the RDF Editor demo. RDF Editor is designed as a notepad replacement for those working with RDF. It's a syntax highlighting and validation along with auto-completing editor. It supports a wide variety of syntaxes as we shall see later. To get started I'm going to set my syntax to turtle for the first part of this demo. Once I've set my syntax, when I start typing, the editor will automatically suggest appropriate things, in this case prefix decorations. A variety of common prefixes are already defined for us. You can either double click to insert them, or while typing press control space, or enter. Once I've defined some prefix declarations, when I actually start typing, at appropriate places, the editor will suggest these queue names from these namespaces. As you can see, next to these queue names, tooltips describing the URI that we are actually using by inserting this queue name are displayed. Note the little red block at the end of the line denotes an error. The error message is displayed in the status bar at the bottom of the screen. If you find this block distracting, you can turn it off from the options menu like we did just then. Now that I've terminated this triple correctly, the status bar now shows that it is valid RDF. Anytime I have a syntax error, it will be displayed here. This validation can be turned off if you like. You can also turn syntax highlight off if you prefer not to have it highlighted but still want the benefits of validation and auto-completion. As you can see, a wide variety of syntaxes are supported. All the common RDF graph and dataset formats, Sparkle result formats, and both Sparkle query and update. So let's take a look at a larger turtle file. As you can see, all the different elements of the file are highlighted. But we don't have highlighting just for turtle. Let's take a look at some RDF JSON. Again, this is appropriately highlighted. We'll also have a look at some RDF XML. Again, nicely highlighted for us. We're not just limited to opening local files. We can also open any URI from the web. Whether it actually returns any RDF or not, RDF Editor will display the contents of data received from that URI. So here I've got back the DVD description of Southampton in RDF XML format. This may not be your preferred format for working with it, so we can go File, Save With, and select an appropriate writer. Since I already had a file open, I'm asked whether I want to overwrite this file or create a new one. So I'll click No to create a new file. which I'll call example.turtle. I can then switch immediately to editing this new file. So now I've got the same data as before, but this time in turtle format. Which of course makes it much more readable. But I'm not just limited to opening your eyes. I can also make sparkle queries and view the results in the editor. Default endpoint is DBpedia, but you can change this to whichever you like. Note that as I'm typing my query, I'm getting auto-completion for both sparkle query keywords and it's remembering variables I previously typed, so I can easily reuse that variable if I'm writing a more complex query. And now I've got back these query results in the editor. 
for something like Sparkle Results, which is actually a table, it may be easier to have a look at the structured view, which will display me the result set as an actual table. Clicking on any URI will open that URI. This structured view is not just limited to Sparkle results. You can also do it for RDF graphs, in which case I get a list of possible triples. But for the RDF graphs, I can change the renderer to change how it is displayed. As you can see, the editor is highly customizable, allowing you to change the appearance of it according to your preferences. We can also customize the appearance of the editor in more detail. So, if you prefer to have white on black text in, say, Courier, we can do this. We can also increase the text size, which may be useful if you're using this pr program in order to show a demo. At any time, we can always go back to the defaults. RDF Editor is made possible thanks to the open source Avalon Edit component by Daniel Grunwald. Its RDF parsing and sparkle features are provided by the .NET RDF library. An RDF Editor forms one of the utilities in the .NET RDF project. It is currently pre-alpha, but if you would like an invite to test, please tweet at Rob Vesey with the hashtag hash RDF editor for an invite. Thank you for watching.